Hey guys, this is the beginner's tutorial of the iTron 8 and Character Creator 4. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a new avatar in Character Creator 4. In the previous tutorial, we already learned the avatar animation in 3D scenes and also how to create a 3D scene in iPhone 8. And for today's, we are going to learn how to create a really new avatar. It may be you want to create yourself, your own face. So I'm going to show you step by step. First, you have to open your character creator 4. Your CC4, character creator 4. And now it is loading. We are going to wait it for a while, wait for a few seconds. Now the character creator 4 already, already opened. And first you go to the window, workplace. For advanced it's okay, no problem. Or you can just go to the workplace of the standards. Right, next, click the headshot. Headshot is a plugin that you install it in your character creator for. Right, you can see. Now if I click the headshot, it will be here. I may put the headshot at, at here. So now headshot is at here. Choose the auto. This headshot plugin, you can just drag in any of your headshot photo to generate the 3D avatar. And always remember, you can take your own photo or you can just go and find some photo. So now I'm going to search some photo. First, I will just go to the Google Chrome. I will search for generated photo. Alright, no internet. I connect to the internet first. Search for generated photo. This is the first one. The first link, generated photos. As demo, I'm going to use some photos here. I will just click browse photos. And here, the face, the head pose must be front facing. The sex, maybe I choose the female. The age, young adult is demo. And city, is, it is up to you. Maybe I choose Asian. The eye color, hair color, you can modify it as well. The hair length, the emotion, you must choose the neutral and click apply. Now you can see, it already gives you a lot, a, a lot of photos. I'm going to load more. Right. From here, you can just choose some of the photo that you need. Okay, let's say if you want, if I want to choose this, I may just right click and save the image as. I will save it on my desktop. Save it. Now this is just a just a picture, right? Next, you can just open your headshot plugin. Drag it into here. First, you must choose the auto and drag in. The body type you may choose neutral. And the skin type I will choose clean soft. And then I click generate. Here you have to wait for a few seconds or. Maybe a few minutes, it depends on your computer's speed. Now, the AI is going to generate the 3D mesh for you. According to this photo, we just need to wait for a while. Now you can see, it is generating the mesh. We are still waiting. We need a few, a few more seconds here. Right, now you can see, it done already. And this is a, a neutral body. And it really become a, a 3D model here. So next, I, I may just go to the contents and I will give give her some clothes, for example, the underwear here. I give her an underwear and also a bra. But this is still a neutral body morph. What am I, am I going to do? I'm going to click here to change the morph. 
choose the morph from the full body and here under the character you can see you have the neutral female now this is a neutral female morph and also some of some other some other morph here maybe Catherine or base female it's up to you base female or just reset it the cc1 base male the base female the cc3 neutral maybe this is a male body we don't want the cc1 base the cc3 cc4 camellia's body is here you can use it so for this time, I'm going to use a neutral female, that's all. And I may just add, I may adjust, adjust the body shape again. It is under the full body, the general. Okay, let's say the body tint, I can make her skinny. Or you can just make it zero. Or you can make her fat as well. Fat. zero as demo i'm going to to stop this we don't want to adjust furthermore so next i, I may just go to here change the post to the t post it will make our life easier under the animations the post under the calibrations i will make her become a t post like this you can have a better look. So next, I'm going to give her some shirts. So in this tutorial, you see, just now, find a headshot picture and generate a neutral avatar. Morph the head and the body. You still can morph the head. Right, head is under here. Head, the full head. Or here you have another one, what we call the headshot. You can, you can adjust the face. For example, the face, the face width, you still can adjust it. And you can change the hairstyle for her as well. Okay, now you can change the hairstyle at right here. Choose different hairstyle. You have the hair group, you have the, the bird, you have the Accessory of the hair, the hair group, the hairstyle, the, the hair group here, even the eyebrow, different style, stylized. All right, as demo, I'm not going to change the hairstyle, but I'm going to change the hair color. I press Q to do double click and select it. Press Q. Then I, I may just go to here. You can see it is a little bit brown. If I want to change the color, I might just right click and adjust the color. The brightness, I can adjust the brightness. Of course here, here is saturated already. I may adjust a little bit and change the hue. Maybe now it look a little bit green. It is up to you to change the color. Maybe you want her to have, have a brown hair, a blue hair green hair if you change the, the brightness and this is the contrast you can do a lot of adjustment change the hue purple hair right it is up to you now i want her to have blue hair like this Okay, now I'm, I'm going to close this. This is just to adjust the color. And next, I'm going to dress her up. Click here. Under the clothes, I'm going to choose some shirts for her. Maybe I will choose this one. Give her some shirts. And also, give her a pant. A short pants and also give her a shoes 
the shoes is at here. I will choose the shoes for her. For example, a red shoes, a high heel. Now done. Once done already, save this avatar. In this tutorial, we are going to check it again. Dress up, wear a shoes, and save it as a CC project. Right, save it as a CC project. So click here, file, save as. Save the project as the CC project. I will save it on my desktop. And the file name, I will just name this as Asian, Asian Female 01. I save it. Now the CC project will be here after a while. Next time, you can close the, the CC3, sorry, the CC4. You can close the character creator 4. This is a CC4 project. Once you close it already, next time you open it again, then you can open that file. If you direct double click it, it's also okay. For me, I will just open it this way. Open the character creator 4. Now it finished loading already. Now if you drag in, drag in, it will open. Now it is opening, update the morph data. You still can re-edit this avatar. Right. So we will temporarily pause it here and we will reserve reserve this export as I avatar. This is this is for Icon 8. We are going to pause it here. And in next tutorial, we are going to use this file again. And this character created for Avatar is a 3D Avatar. You can use it to create 3D animations, included the facial expression animations, body animation, and also mouth talking, sound, lip sync animations. This is the beginner's tutorial of the Icon 8 and character created for. I will make it in series and continue to produce more and more tutorial, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy animation and game developing. See you!